We're still waiting for either a list of players from so shore. They just wanted to have a little chat afterwards. There's another referee just going through. Hard to believe Booney's only got one goal the way he stick handles and the way he creates offense. And three assists as well. Yeah, you, and that just goes to show how little offense the Toro Bearcats have had this season. A guy with that much skill has only got four points. Yeah, now he does have uh, two assists added on. Right. As Moody comes in and slowly once again going to the forehand. Oh. And once again, Derek Gauguin tried for the same move. And once again, it did oh. not work. Almost identical to the penalty shot back in the first period. Next up is Max Robitaille. He has, well, officially... Five goals on the season as Sierra Ledoux was credited with the third so short goal. It was Max Robitaille. As he goes wide, picking up the puck, working his way towards the middle of the ice. Takes a shot. Save is made by Matt Forslund. Battle with the backups continue. One for one here in the shootout for both goaltenders. Brandon Hughes is out next. And you have to think no matter what happens here, it's going to be Kyle Thibault that comes out to take that last shot for the Bearcats. First things first. Brandon Hughes trying to give the Bearcats a lead. Three goals on the season. Hughes comes around to the near side. Cutting in on goal. Goes the forehand and lifted it wide of the net. Bearcats, it seems to be, they're trying to be patient, 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 but as they keep moving forward, they don't give themselves enough room to make one final move when they need to. They, I think they're going to have to try more of a power move rather than a finesse. Kyle McAllister going with the hot hand. O'Neill with the power play goal here tonight. Has his own goal and scores. How about that for O'Neill? His first goal of the season tonight, and he could have the shootout winner here. Just and took his time, and Forslund barely even moved. Yeah, he had Forslund completely fooled. Looked like there was a little bit of a head fake there just before he took the shot. Had Forslund heading towards the blocker side a little bit and then shot the puck just beyond the glove. And it's up to Kyle Thibault here. Has to score. Takes a shot and what do you know? The fun continues. Kyle Thibault, the captain. He made that look easy. And Thibault didn't, didn't try and be too patient. He went in. He got his shot away. Just like I was talking about. You got to be a little bit more have a little bit more aggressive in order to get success against Gogan. Now it's Sierra Ledoux. Slowly cutting in on Forsland for the win. Sierra Ledoux in, goes to the backhand and scores. Sierra Ledoux roofs oh. the puck just up and over the glove of Matt Forsland. The Lumberjacks come on the ice, and they're going to skate away with a 4-3 shootout win.